Hey guys, this is Qbert. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about two new 4x4s that I got from the cubicle, the Valk 4M Regular and Strong. These two cubes are around $40. This one's $40, this one's $37, and they are both magnetic 4x4s that recently came out from Chi, who also made the Valk 3 and Valk 2. I haven't messed with these cubes much, but I wanted to make a little review video slash first impressions of them. Uh, I originally recorded an unboxing, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, so here we are. These cubes are very visually appealing right out of the box. They have the nice little Valk sticker right there, as usual, on these sorts of cubes, and the shades are also quite nice. It also has primary internals, which I like personally. And I don't think that every cube looks the best with primary internals, but this one, uh, it certainly fits. So as you may have noticed, there are two different cubes, two different magnet strengths. However, when you actually try the cubes, the magnet strength doesn't make much difference. I could barely tell the difference right out of the box between the two cubes and their different magnet strengths. They have pretty much the same inner magnet strength. I can't tell any difference between the inner magnets but it seems like the strong magnets has ever so slightly more pull to it on the outer layers than the weak ones. But it's not a very noticeable difference. You could get either one and they would be just about the same. I'm going to be focusing on this one simply because it seems a bit better tensioned than the normal one was right out of the box, so I'm just going to be focusing on the strong one. But really these two are almost the same, it's just that this one has slightly weaker magnets and slightly more cost. Both of these 4x4s turn pretty well, however the corner cutting is definitely not a strength of either 4x4. It can barely do one piece of corner cutting, it just locks up, and then even a bit under a piece it takes a bit of force to really corner cut, but once you get to a piece then the corner cutting just stops and it won't go any further. So this isn't really ideal for something that's considered to be a high-end 4x4, or at least coming from a very high-end company in a good line of cubes. I use the Valk 2M, the Angstrom version, as my main 2x2, and the 3x3 Valk 3 is also quite good. But the 4x4 doesn't really live up to the expectations I would have had for it. It's not to say that it's a bad cube, but I would say that it certainly isn't worth the price. And I think from what I know so far about this cube, I would say to go with something like the Wushui Mini or the Aosu GTS-2M. Or if you're looking for a more budget option, then you could just get a cheaper 4x4 altogether and skip out on the more expensive options completely. When I'm turning this cube fast, it also feels like it's going to pop a lot of the time. It doesn't feel very stable, and this is even for the strong one, which is on tighter tension, as the normal one is even worse with this, and it just really feels like it's going to pop when I'm turning it, um, which might be partially because of the magnets in this one, so maybe the stronger magnets are slightly better with keeping the cube together, but regardless, unless you have it on tighter tensions, this cube, at least, it doesn't feel like it will perform well, and it does seem like it's giving me a bit of some lockups when I'm turning fast, especially on the inner layers. Even when I'm trying to corner cut just a bit like that, it'll just lock up and it won't turn. So it's not to say that either of these cubes are bad, but they certainly don't live up to the expectation I would have had for something in the Valk line, and I would say that it's better to go with a different option for a 4x4 rather than these two. I will be checking them out more though, and if I uh, feel like my opinion has really changed on these two 4x4s and that it would be better to um, amend what I've already said here and make another video about it, then that's what I'll do. But regardless, if you still want to buy them, then I'll leave purchase links down below to the cubicle where you can buy them. Thanks to the cubicle for sending me these two cubes, by the way. And I will be coming out with new videos soon. School is now over for me, so I'll have more time to make videos. But I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.